for me, I think a guy that's going to exceed expectations. And I think people are already trying to hop on this bandwagon. And I think I get to call this a bandwagon um, because uh, I think Terrence Davis is going to be a huge part of this team. Um, I think especially when you start talking about the day that Keegan Murray starts at the four, which could be sooner than later. I don't know. I kind of think we'll talk about that in a bit. But, you know, I kind of think you'll probably see a Paulus start there for a little bit. But once you see Murray coming in as a starter, I think, you know, that might boost Terrence Davis's numbers. But I think already, I mean, minutes, I think already his minutes are going to be pretty high. I think he's already in that kind of nightly category because you're going to see a lot of three guard lineups. You saw it a lot against the Lakers in that last game. And Terrence Davis is such a good, he's just, he's been aggressive and he's been effective. Um, and you've seen him improve along the way throughout uh, the preseason. You know, I think he was in the first preseason game, maybe the second one. He got, he, he, he gave up like three easy cuts or whatever. He missed his assignment and he got pulled. Um, and, you know, it's all about, he mentioned how it's all about accountability with Mike Brown. And then he bounced back and he's basically had a pretty good shooting throughout all the games. And he's been very effective. And like I said, he's been an aggressive ball handler, whether he's just going to go attack the basket or, you know, getting a pick coming off a screen, passing it off of that. And, you know, I think just seeing him invigorated, he's already an undrafted guy. He's coming off an injury where he was playing really well for this team. And he's, he's all of a sudden, you know, in a good way, he sees this in a positive light. He's all of a sudden got these two really good shooting guards on the team on top of having two really good point guards. And, you know, it, it, it doesn't look super bright. And he just comes out and he brings it. He's got that undrafted spirit coming off the injury. He's also going into a contract year. I just think things are coming together for this guy. And I think he wants to go out there and prove something. And I just think every time he's going to get the ball, he's going to be aggressive he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna just kind of come out with that killer mentality but at the same time you know he's bought into the to the accountability aspect of things you know he's been calling it healthy competition all year he knows he's got to play well he's knows he knows he's got to play smart i think things can really come together for him and he can make a huge impact even with guys like herder and monk getting significant minutes and shots so i mean i don't know Maybe I end up being wrong. Maybe I just watching too much preseason, but um, I think Davis can really come around. And on that aspect of just getting better, you know, he was getting in trouble for his defense. He's, you know, hasn't proven that he's a great defender, but he's getting the hang of it. He looked better on rotations. He looked better in sync with his teammates out there. And uh, I don't know. I, I'm a big fan of Terrence Davis. I think for some of the reasons I listed there, but you know, I, I expect big things from him. Yeah, I, and that's a good call too. I I remember getting Davis. Um, I've been happy with him over the you know, I mean year and a half we've had him, even though he didn't play much last year due to injury. And you know he 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 does have a lot of proof being behind Herter and Monk now, but I mean he seems to be up to the, for the challenge. I really hope that he can, you know, be plugged into the three uh, position behind Barnes, I guess, off the bench. Cause I mean, that hole technically is, you know, a hole or that spots a hole at the moment. And, you know, mm-hmm. he, he has the opportunity to earn minutes there as long as he can guard at three position decently. And, you know, he's only six, four, but I mean, you've mentioned it uh, ample times that he has a six, nine wingspan. So, um, yeah, I didn't you know, even mention that. Good job. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, yeah, I, I mean, he definitely, he's good. He's a good shooter. Um, he's a good on the offensive side of the ball. Um, he's seemingly only getting better. He was playing very well at the end, well, not the end of last year, but, you know, before he got injured. Um, so, I, yeah, Davis, I, I think he will, you know, earn earn more minutes than you think being behind Herder and Monk. So, um, you know, I, I'm happy for Davis, and I hope he can just, you know, keep continuing continuing to grow in sack. So good, good choice. 